So one of the less obvious ways that stress impacts you, if it's chronic, is that it can reduce brain size. It can cause brain atrophy. So the two primary areas where this happens are the hippocampus and the amygdala. So like I said earlier, the amygdala is important in emotion and the hippocampus is important for memory formation. So what this means functionally is that the ability to form declarative memories, spatial memories, verbal memories, all of the memory stuff are going to be negatively impacted if your hippocampus decreases in size. Think of it like stress causes your hippocampus to decrease, decrease in size. Your hippocampus controls memory formation, so you're going to have a more difficult time forming memories, memorizing things, things along those lines. And decrease of size in these areas can also cause emotional regulation disorders and cognitive disorders. Your cognitive function can go down. And I want to pause here because this is a big deal, right? Stress is something we all deal with somewhat frequently, and the fact that it can reduce our brain size and cause these very negative effects is something that we really need to be aware of because I think if you're aware of the negative something that something can cause, it can sort of inspire you to help manage it.